Hey everyone, Chris McGinnis here, and welcome to another edition of Let's Read. So, today's story was suggested to me by one of the people who actually got me involved in the uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic fandom. So, um, like I said, I haven't, as is always the case, I haven't read this ahead of time, so I'm gonna say thank you. I think, to Alex for suggesting this story to me. Uh, the story is called Rocket 2 Insanity. He said it's like a sequel to Cupcakes, which I read last time. So, uh, I'm looking at the webpage for it now, and... Oh, good. It's another grim dark story. Fantastic. Okay, so here's the... Like I said, I know little to nothing about this because I haven't read it. The description gives me, Rainbow Dash finds her sanity slipping away as horrific nightmares slowly chip away at her psyche. Well, we are getting close to Halloween, so... We may as well have something to horrify us. So, here we go, gonna go ahead, open the story, and begin very shortly. Now, this one, this one, I'm completely in the dark about this one. Like I said, with Cupcakes, I heard, you know, some descriptions and uh, summaries and synopsis, so I sort of had an idea of what I was getting myself into by reading that thing. But uh, this one really completely going into this blindly. I know nothing about it aside from the description I just read on Equestrian Daily. So, um... Here we go. Alright. Uh, inspired by Sergeant Sprinkle's Cupcakes fanfic. Oh good, it starts with a warning in bold red letters and it's underlined. This work of fiction contains material that may be sensitive to some readers. Parentheses, murder, gore, and death. Viewing discretion is advised. Okay. Great. It begins with a quote. There is evil within the hearts of all ponies. Such is the balance of nature. Good can only be prevalent for so long before evil musters its forces and seizes upon the heart, twisting friendships into war, loyalty into deceit, and kindness into unadulterated hate. Unknown author, 622BL. Before Luna, maybe? I don't know. Alright. <clears throat> Screams echoed through the cloud palace of Rainbow Dash's home. The filly startled, wide awake in a cold sweat, terror surging through her veins. Nightmares. Again. The seventh time this month. And it was always the same one. The one with the cupcakes. Flashes of memory lanced through her head, wings being hacked off and ripped from their sockets. Needles plunged into her beating heart, adrenaline injected into her body to keep her awake and alert as the torture went on. The smell of her own flesh cooking, the sight of her own blood and gore spilling from her surgically incised belly, the mastermind behind her terror toying with those glistening organs like they were party favors. She knew in her heart that Pinkie Pie would never be capable of doing such a gruesome act, but that thought didn't help making the dreams any less vivid. The Pegasus pony sobbed openly, curling up in her blanket and rocking back and forth as her body trembled with fear. She hadn't told anyone about the dreams. Without the lingering feeling of steel piercing flesh and blade cutting bone. Warwick had suffered because of the constant night terrors, the nightmares being so powerful that she was simply afraid of going back to sleep. Some nights staying up altogether in an attempt just to stave off the horrors for one more night. And every pony wondered why she spent most of her day napping, in the open, in the daylight. Because in the shining brilliance of the sun, it was the only way she could actually rest. But even then, the black clutches of her fear adult subconscious had begun to creep even into that relative safety, following her through the dreaming world. Dash whimpered as tears streaked down her face, starting, staining the fur of her cheeks as wide eyes darted around the darkened scenery of her room, 
heart pounding in her chest as breath came before hiccuping sobs. Her wings clinging tight against her form as paranoia began to clutch at the edges of her mind. Shadows lurched and moved in her peripheral vision, routine natural noises becoming distorted and echoing within her mind as adrenaline surged through her shivering form. This wasn't healthy. Her mind was slowly breaking under the horrors of her subconscious mind, things that no pony should ever even have the slightest thought of chipping away at her psyche. She was starting to crack. Rainbow Dash? Rainbow Dash? Hey, has any pony seen Rainbow Dash around? Applejack trotted through the seats, streets of Ponyville, looking high and low for the town's resident speedster pony. Bystanders just stuck the, shook their head and shrugged. Horse feathers. Figures that ponies know where to be seen when you really need her. The cow pony sighed and continued to on through town, hoofbeats kicking up dust as she looked to the sky for the Pegasus pony. Come, darn it! Rainbow Dash, where in the wild world of Equestria are you? A long yawn from the branches of a tree behind her met her answer. The pony in question, dipping a head down and gazing at Applejack from an upside-down position. Ugh. What, Applejack, what is it that is so important you can interrupt my napping? The western pony stamped a hoof on the ground, scowling at the Pegasus. Now you know just why I'm making a fuss and finding you. You said you were going to bring over a little rainstorm for the crops at Sweet Apple Acres nearly two hours ago. Instead, I find you out here, in a tree, snoozing your little behind off. Dash gave a groan, slipping out of the tree and landing on her hooves, shaking her head. She looked more disheveled than usual, her mane a mess, dark bags under her eyes for many sleepless nights. She looked pale, sickly almost, yet she tried to put on an air of cheerfulness. She heaved a yawn before giving a dismissive wave to Applejack. Yeah, yeah, keep your saddle on. I'll get to it right now. Sorry and stuff. As the Pegasus pony turned and spread her wings to take off, Applejack tilted her head to the side and gave a little frown. Uh, Dash, you feeling okay? You look a little, um, under the weather. Dash grumped, shaggy, shrugging her shoulders as she gave her wings a little test flap. I'm fine, was the only response from the Pegasus. The cow pony behind her stepped forward, giving Dash's side a little nudge with her snout. You sure about that? She was cut off by the pace that suddenly jerking away from Applejack, darting up into the air as her eyes went wide. Don't! Don't! Touch me! I'm fine. Honest. Just... She nearly spilled the beans right then and there, but refrained. She couldn't take the chance that the other pony might think different of her because she was being scared of her mind tonight by some stupid nightmare. Her body gave a little shiver as Applejack looked on with concern. I, uh... I mean... Uh, gotta go! Before Applejack could say anything further, Dash was off like a rocket. Towards Sweet Apple Acres, leaving the cow plane just to scratch her head in confusion. That girl ain't right. Another terror filled night. Dash lay curled upon the floor of her cloud house, blankets swathed around her shivering form. It was worse this time. She'd been flayed open. Set upon the dining table with the pink earth pony as slabs of her own meat, dripping with her life fluids, was sheared from her flanks, served to all her friends. Herself still somehow alive enough to be aware of the entire situation. Hearing the laughter as they devoured her living form, as fork and knife dug into her innards, tearing her apart, she was nothing more than a slab of meat for her friends' enjoyments. Hiccups punctured through heavy sobs as the Pegasus pony clutched at her head. The visions that her nightmares had been visiting upon her ingrained within her memory. Every horrible detail, from the fiery pan of rendered flesh to the sickening sound of innards being torn and ripped out of her belly, was cast into a description. She whined as she lay curled tightly upon the floor, sniffing as tears gushed from her eyes. Just leave me alone. Why won't you leave me alone? She hiccuped, rocking back and forth. I don't deserve this. Just stay out. Stay out of my head. Get out of my head, please. Just get out of my head. Fear turned to anger. Dash beating her hooves against her temples. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! She weeped openly, grinding her forehead against the floor of her room, hooves pounding and pounding at her head, brushing the flesh as she pent of frustration and sleep deprivation erupted in an agonized scream of rage and sorrow. Another night. Another crack in the window. Everyone had noticed this. It was in the way she walked. The way she talked. Her body language just screamed it. Gone was Rainbow Dash, that cheerful, brash speedster, replaced by 
some hollow shell. She drifted aimlessly about over Ponyville as weeks of interrupted sleep had taken its toll upon her. All of her friends knew that something was up, but none of them knew exactly what to do. She'd push them away when they tried to comfort her, lashing out like a wounded animal any time they tried to console her or plead her to get help. Too headstrong, some would say. Too proud, others still. But none of them realized the gravity of the situation until that one fateful day. The day that Rainbow Dash finally snapped. I got a bad feeling about this. It had been an unseasonably warm spring day in Ponyville. Every pony was out enjoying the temperate weather from foals to colts and then some as every pony went about their business. Lyra and Bon Bon chatting it up beneath their usual table at the cafe. Applejack selling the first harvest from Sweet Apple Acres as ponies lined up for those ruby delectables. Within the candy corner, Pinkie Pie was busy darting to and fro in the kitchen, baking up a storm. She glanced at the clock every now and then, frowning each time before the bell to the door finally rang open. A haggard-looking Rainbow Dash entered the shop. Rainbow, you're finally here! Oh, I've been so worried about you. You've been all mopsy dopsy so I thought I'd ask you to come visit me so I could make you feel extra super special and cheer you up. But then you didn't show up when I thought you were going to, and I was all sad that you were going to stay hooped up in your house all day, but then you came in and now you're here, and now we can have some fun. Dash really looked at her blankly before shaking her head and stumbling forward. Whatever, Pinky. What do you want me here for? The energetic earth pony bounced around the kitchen over towards one of the many ovens of the candy corner before pulling the door down and reaching in and pulling out a tray of puffy, fluffy cupcakes with a generous slathering of icing upon them. She spun around, grinning wildly as she showed the baked goods off to Dash. I made you cupcakes! Dash paled. Her mind flashed back to the rest of the earliest of those nightmares. The most vivid. The most intense. A tray of cupcakes. Tasting it. Finding motor skills rapidly deteriorating, stumbling as her body shut down under the effects of some unknown drug. Pinkie Pie looming over her with that trademark grin. Eyes gleaming as the world dimmed around her. And here it was happening for real. Vision became haze as the world began to spin around her, the Pegasus stumbling back and shaking her head, whispering under her breath, No. No. No, 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 no! She backed up, eyes wide with fear as she shook her head violently, looking around frantically for a way out. Any way out. The window? The door? The no. No, I don't want him. I'm not gonna let you. Let me out of here. Let me out of here! Pinky merely tilted her head to the side quizzically, setting the tray down and lifting a few of the cakes out and plating them, bouncing over to the shivering Rainbow Dash and offering the plate to the Pegasus. Dash stared at them. They were the same color. Same kind. Run! A voice in her head said. Run! Run, you idiot, run! The hush laughed out, smacking the plate out of Pinkie Pie's hooves. I said I don't want them! I know what you're doing. It's not going to work! Pinkie Pie frowned at the discarded cupcakes, but in typical Pinkie Pie fashion, she just shrugged and then went about cleaning them out, humming to herself. Maybe you don't like the avocado icing? That's okay. I made plenty more so I can get some to your liking. Is that okay, Rainbow Dash? They glanced back, the Pegasus pony laying out panic, panic whimpering noises, eyes fixed on the pony before her. Pupils nearly pinpricks as fear and adrenaline coursed through her veins. She was pinned between Pinky and the wall behind her, chest heaving with heavy gasps, her sleep-deprived, horror-filled mind playing the scene from her nightmares over and over again, of the saw rending through flesh, cutting through bone. Run! Get away! Scalpel piercing her breast, dragging through her flesh down to her groin, flaying her open like some sick sort of piñata. Move! Just get away! Get away! Get away! She was hyperventilating by now, no longer seeing a longtime friend but a horrible, sadistic butcher. Do something! And then she saw it. That shining, sharp protector just sitting there on the table next to her. The voice within her mind whispered to her like a seductive lover, something so wrong but so right at the same time. Kill her. Oh my god. Here we go. Dash hesitated. Part of her wanted to scream, another to run, but yet another considered the request. Kill her before she kills you. 
Her mind was a maelstrom of conflicting thoughts, the Pegasus feeling sick to her stomach, weak in the knees, the beat of her own heart pounding within her head. Take the knife. She stared at it, hoofs slowly stretching out, trembling as part of her still ward, still tried to reason. Take it. Take the knife. Tears streamed down her face as her hoof hovered above the handle of the tool turned weapon, as if the last frayed strands of her sanity knew what was happening, knew that it was fighting a battle it was going to lose. Take it! She snatched it up, holding it in front of her at Pinkie Pie with shaky hooves. Her ears splayed back against her head, hiccuping between sobs. Just leave me alone. Please, Pinkie Pie. Just leave me alone. Pinkie Pie looked at the knife being wielded by her friend for a moment, before giggling and bouncing over towards Dash, whose heart sank, as it really rapidly approached. Oh, Dash, you silly filly. You got me good with that one. Never wanted to turn down an opportunity to prank, huh? She didn't think. Her body acting on its own. A gasp. Pinkie Pie looking thunderstruck as Dash heaved, frozen in mid-strike, the silvery blade of the knife dripping with red ichor. Pinkie Pie brought a hood up to her cheek, dabbing at the white cuts looking at her blood-stained hoof. D- Dash, but why? I told you. Just stay away. Why couldn't you just stay away? Kill her. No. She's my friend. I, I can't. I- I- Kill her. And the hurting will stop. Please. Pinky, run. Just run. Oh God, please don't make me do this! Kill her. 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 What happened next was a blur, the memories fuzzy in Dash's mind. As Pinkie Pie tried to make sense of the sudden attack upon her person, Dash let out a chilling mix between a wail and a scream, catching the earth money off guard as the blade darted forward. Slashing through her neck, severing vein and artery as a gout of crimson issued forward from the wound. Shock and surprise registered on Pinkie Pie's face as she gurgled, blood hemorrhaging from that wound, staining her pink fur with the red hue of her life essence. Again and again, that super blade struck out. Dash's speed not restricted to her fight as she plunged that blade into the filly before at rapid pace, sobbing hysterically as she carved the squirming and flailing filly up through breast, through bone. Pinkie Pie's struggle slowly faded as her blood was spilled onto the floor of the candy corner's kitchen, pooling around her, splattering the pegasus atop her with that hot red fluid. Just leave me alone! She screamed after returning to her rage. You couldn't just go away, could you? You had to keep coming back! Pinkie's struggles grew weaker and weaker. Her eyes wide with terror, tears streamed down her face, visage frozen in a mix of fear and anguish. What did she do? Was it the icing? Did she use salt instead of sugar? Why? As those slowly gazing eyes stared up at Dash, the strikes of the blade grew slower and slower. The Pegasus finally plunging the implement deep into Pinky's chest, spearing through the filly's heart, ending her party once and for all. Dash heaved for breath, limbs shaking as she looked down upon her handiwork. Blood stained her fur and feathers, painting her a deep crimson, wearing the life force of her former friend like some macabre outfits. She sobbed, letting out a wail of anguish as she realized the gravity of what she'd done, what she'd just done. Arms wrapped around the butchered filly, Dash holding the still warm corpse of her friend tight. No. No, 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 I didn't! Oh, Celestia, no. What have I done? What did I do? Dash's body shook as her chest heaved with each gut-wrenching gut cry of anguish, suddenly letting go of Pinky's body and letting out an ear-piercing shriek of terror as she looked down at her own hooves. Blood and viscera coated them, dripping down through her fur, the scene straight from a horror movie laid before her eyes. She skidded backwards, slipping in the pool of blood of her own creation, slamming cheek first into the pile of gore before finally gaining purchase and dragging herself over against the farthest wall from Pinky's still form. Her stomach mutinying on her as she emptied its contents upon the floor next to her. Her mind raced. Thoughts running a mile a minute as she hiccuped, wide, terror-filled eyes staring at the scene made by her own hoof. Murder. She had committed murder. On one of her own friends. 
was unheard of. No pony had murdered another in hundreds of years. Voices within her mind clawed and whispered to her, the world spinning around her as she seemed to stand as time seemed to stand still for her, the last vestiges of her sanity being plucked apart one by one, until that final thread finally snapped. Hooves grasped at her head, manning her rainbow coated mane down with blood and ichor. The Pegasus rocking back and forth in the bloody kitchen as a crazed grin spread across her muzzle, humming disjointedly to herself. Giggle at the ghastly. <laughs> Snortle at the spooky. <laughs> Dashed through her head back, curling legs against her chest as four limbs wrapped around them. Psychotic issue laughter, psychotic laughter issuing forth from the speeds for Pegasus as her world shattered around her, psyche and spirit broken and splintered. And that's where it ends. Wow. Um. That's um. was very dark. Didn't quite disturb me as much as Cupcakes did, but still. Damn. So, um, that'll do it. Uh, I guess, uh, I guess, you know, thank you to, uh, Alex for pointing that out to me. And, um, credit goes to, I guess it's fast, I think it's fast, Sherzo was the author of that story. It's a S-C-H-E-R-Z-O. So, um, so that'll do it for this go-around. Uh, thanks again for tuning in to Let's Read. Um, if you have any suggestions for fanfics, which are you know, infamous for one reason or another on the internet, definitely send them to me. Uh, if you're my friend on Facebook, send them to me on there or email them. Uh, ChrisMCG1983 at gmail.com or leave a comment uh, below the video here. And, um, yeah, that, that'll do it for now, so I will see you next time.